everybody thanks for stopping by this is Amy if you are new to my channel please make sure that you hit that subscribe button before you leave also hit the notification bell so you get notified whenever I post something new I am trying to do at least four or five videos a week and you never know from one day to the next what I'm going to be painting on but I'm trying to mix it up a little bit so anyways today I am going to show you I've been working on a beer glass series and just finished up with the birch trees this is another set of four which I'm going to paint today using dots and I will be using my acrylic sticks here that I bought a while back not really sure what the size is but there are four different sizes here bought them on Amazon and then I'm switching over because I'm doing the dots I'm going to be doing the Americana gloss enamels these actually require they're a little bit different than the folk art which is what I typically use and the reason why I'm using these is because they actually have a different consistency than the, the folk art enamels or multi-surface and they're better for dotting so that's the reason because the other paint on that gloss that I have on there is actually folk art enamels so it looks like on here they like instead of you air drying for an hour and then baking they want you to, to let it dry for 48 hours bake at 325 for 30 minutes so with that being said I would still add my preheat time to the bake time mine would be 50 minutes because of the preheat time in my oven is about 20 minutes so if you know what yours is then you just add add that to the bake time again always 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 put your glassware in a cold oven then turn on the preheat very very important all right so on this one I'm going to be using four different colors and they're just various shades of, of pink along with white so let's get started I'm going to start with my bigger dot and then just try to try to get them as smoothly as I can on here but I thought you know this would be a fun just a fun glass to paint with the dots and since I'm doing the dots I'm going to make sure that I'm using the Americana brand since I know from all the experimenting I did with dots that that's the best to get a smooth dot at least that's what I found and I know I've I've read that a lot too <clears throat> even though I'm trying to smooth them out a little bit I think they'll be fine at least I want the sharp points because I think the sharp points can actually be very sharp at least ones that I've done in the past I had an older woman say I think I could cut my my hand on them <laughs> it's like oh that's not good all right so unlike most of my glassware I will have to allow this a couple days to dry before I bake it and that's probably good too since I'm gonna have a little thickness here It'll be interesting to see how how well these kind of smooth out it's almost like for me it's still a little experiment So what I'm trying to do on these is actually do various colors so that they're all different. Still have the dots and kind of still along the birch tree theme because it is a tree design. So that's one thing I really like about the folk garden enamels is that, especially when you're painting a lot of glassware, which I have in the past, you don't have to wait so long to be able to bake it I mean, that could be a real issue for me at times if I had to wait that long so you're just going to spin your glass and put on the dots and even if you don't have a branch you can still add dots I, I just want to look around the glass and see where else I feel like maybe it's missing something Alright, so 
I'm going to set that one down and I'm going to try to go to the next size and this is going to be in more of a magenta type pink and you can overlap the dots a little bit too I got a little bit of a issue right there, I got a little dot that was not on purpose I guess that the consistency of this paint is a little bit different than what I'm used to my dogs are both down here with me today you can hear jingling that's my crazy dog, my blue healer my other dog's more of a marshmallow where she just very calm Yeah, I'm definitely not used to this consistency. The folk art would be definitely not as runny. Definitely not as runny. Oops, I'm going to stuck that in the light. Alright, so I went ahead and painted some of the other glasses. Ended up doing five colors. Now, I'm not done with these. I'm going to end up having to make this a maybe two or three part series because of the runniness of the paint. Not real happy about that be honest with you. Um, did more of a yellow and a little a touch of orange theme. I'm going to do these upside down a little bit. And then a purple and blue. See right there you got to run. But I mean I'll fix it. We'll figure it out. But that's why I just want to let it dry and then go from there with it. Because it definitely in a review here is very runny and there's no way I can do any kind of dotting on top right now. Alright, so this is going to be part one. I will come back and do part two to maybe add some more dotting on top once these dry a little bit. Right now, definitely, definitely not a good time to do it. So if you are somebody that uses this type of paint all the time, I have no idea how you do it. But for right now, we're just going to continue as I've been doing, continuing with this paint, and we'll see what we end up with. All right. Thanks again for stopping by. If you have any comments to make, if you like this so far, please make a comment down below. Again, make sure that you've subscribed to my channel. You hit the notification bell. You give me a big thumbs up if you like the video. And share 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 there's a share button underneath the video make sure you hit that and share on your social networks with any of your friends and family i would appreciate it because i am trying to grow my channel all right until the next part of this series i will talk to you then have a good one